everyone, I'm Jay and this is Parse and Pana interviewing from Ali Shots Media and we are here in Boca de Vin in Alicante with these two great artists from Proxy 5000. They are in the house, you know? How are you guys? How's it going? How's it going? What's Everything up? Everything is good? Yeah, Everything incredible. Is, yeah, cool. Hot, isn't it? It's very hot. It's very hot. Huge. <laughs> que calor, yo. Que calor. <laughs> so, this is going to be a weird interview because we are going to try to speak in Spanish, English and... How do you feel? Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, uh, poco, poco. Poco, poco. <laughs> I will speak in English. Yeah. You can speak in Spanish and English. No, especially if you speak in English, then, then I can understand what you're saying. Okay, uh, they are here with me, Roxy and Fiona. Nice Roxy 5000. Nice to meet you, brother. That's a really, really good name. Thank you. So, you've been again on the scene after several years, how many years? Six years. Six years. Six years out of the scene. Yeah. Uh, but now we're back with a brand new single, I'm Your Man. That's really good. I'm Your Man. Let's talk about I'm Your Man. It was actually, to be really truthful and really honest, it was a track that I didn't really like. Yeah. That's the truth. And I did it with a whole bunch of dudes. Uh, Winston Blissett from Massive Attack and uh, Francesco Mandolia from Incognito. A lot of people in Spain might not know who this is, but in the rest of the world they will. And a mutual friend of ours called Dave Vitale, who works with Shaka Khan and Nile Rogers and Maceo Parker. You know, it's, 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 all, it's all a little bit, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, you know, I, I did this track and uh, I sent it out to. In fact, I sent another song to my a, a radio DJ guy in Brazil. Yep. Um, it's a, a massive radio for Roxy 5000, like 15 million listeners, and I thought, okay, I'm going to send this other track. And then I thought, mm, maybe I should just send it over to him and see what he thinks. So I sent him the song and he flipped out. He was like, oh my god, this is amazing. And, you know, Fiona was on the track and, was, you know. It's... So anyway, I decided to push it, push it out to all my radio guys, and it seems to be working. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so after six years, you just release a track that you didn't like at all? <laughs> so I, didn't, I mean, no, I didn't really fun, like it. It's a cool track. It's a great I didn't, track. I didn't, it is. Just it not is maybe a... one of his favorites, but yeah. it's an awesome track. Yeah. We already had a huge um, fan base and backing from 10 years ago when we did our first video with uh, Greg uh, Muswick. Yeah. Remember? So we already had quite a following and online, and you know, it's a fab track. Great track. Thank you. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, so Roxy, for all the people that don't know you, can you tell us a little bit about your story of the band and and when did you get first uh, into the music? Ooh. Well, first. What is it? What is first. thirty years? Thirty, <laughs> yeah. thirty years in the business. Well, well, let's let's talk about your background. You know, thirty yeah. years in the business. Songwriter uh, wrote on Fiona's album. Yeah. When she was signed to Disco Volante, that's when she did all her tours with Simply Red and stuff. And then I decided to change the whole format because I had some cuts on people's records in Italy and, and, and different countries of the world. And then I did a show at Shepherd's Bush Empire and uh, in London and then realised that actually I wanted to be the artist. And that's where it started. Okay. And then we then got together after that. Started writing songs together. Uh, and releasing them and then they just started to go to radio people started to like it which is kind of exciting because when you first do a project you don't actually think well you don't know whether anything's going to work and we did the video with Greg Mosmeck Funky People which is actually an anti-racist anti-bully yeah. to try and you know, bring some awareness and people just started picking up on it and then it started to go to radio and then it started to go to more radio more radio more radio and then Fiona went off to have babies for a little while <laughs> so I continued the in whole in the video actually I was carrying she my was little, eight months my pregnant little son. she was eight months yeah. pregnant and they did a, a thing called squeezing in the video so they could make her <laughs> little if you look closer you can see but yeah that's awesome and uh, yeah and then and then it just you know, after that I just continued to you know why Fiona was out, out you know out of the band for a little while I just continued to move forwards and, yeah. and work with a whole bunch of people and and, uh, and you know, get the music to the whole world, which is what happened, and that's where we're kind of here right now. You are now in Alicante. I know. Yeah. So Love it. <laughs> after all of those things and all of those history, you know, uh, you decide to make a song in Alicante. Well, actually, this "I'm Your Man" was made in 
England, uh, uh, Am- uh, Athens, Manchester, <laughs> and London. Uh, but now, obviously, we're here, so I have. This is our home now. Yeah. And this is where yeah. we're starting to record the album and yeah. starting to move th- things forward. It's from Spain. So, do you think it's inspiring to be here to make music? Sunshine, oh, we love it. The sunshine, sunshine, the beach. Yeah. You just can't. It's just incredible. When I just go to the beach and I just see you guys and you're <laughs> with this face of summer. The whole, oh, yeah. the whole like, That's gonna be a really good music, I think. So. Yeah, you just feel great here all the time. It's such an incredible energy, and yeah, to make music here, we're very, very blessed. Very blessed. Pretty good. So, Fiona, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you tell the people and tell us uh, about your background and how, how did you get into Roxy 5000? Oh, well, just the same. I mean, about 30 years ago, the music started for me when I was very, very young. And I started at music school um, and then went off to New York City and lived there for a while. Worked in record companies there. Worked with a lot of incredible artists like D'Angelo, uh, Pharrell Williams, when he first signed the Neptunes to EMI Records. I worked for them. and I loved it. Yeah, incredible band. Yeah, I mean, Pharrell's a genius. Yeah. Um, became a very good friend of mine for many, many years. Um, yeah, so, and then I came back to London from New York, I signed a record, uh, record deal with Sony, Sony Music, yeah. Disco Volante, and then signed a publishing contract with Warner Brothers, and um, for many years I toured, did some huge European tours, one with Praz from the Fugees, uh, also Simply Red with Mick Hucknall, I travelled with, with him for months and months. In his private jet? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Flash. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, performed with Destiny's Child and, you know, and just met, some huge stuff went on. Yeah, it was amazing. We recorded a fab album, one track with um, KG, who worked on all the All Saints records. We did a collaboration, myself, Roxy, Space and Journey. Um, Carl, a track called Space Journey, which was a great cool. track, great track, yeah. Had some amazing people on the album. So how's the, brilliant. Feeling, how's the feeling to hang, hang up with all of these top of the musicians in the world? I think when you're... When you've done it from so young, and you've been part of that world from so young, you kind of just fit in, in a sense, yeah. because you're yeah. doing the same yeah. thing as them. You're you know, you're no it. different, you yeah. know. The Neptunes had just signed to EMI when I started working there in New York. So they were just young guys starting out. You know, they're just writ- Pharrell had just written his first record for SWV. Yeah. And um, mm. it was the beginning of their career. That, 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 yeah, that's street, how I met him. Walking down the street him. in New yeah, York. Yeah, I was working, it's actually Miami. I was, work- oh, was it in uh, Yeah, Miami? I was working for street, uh, street Team in New York City. And um, we had a huge promotion for a um, huge thing in Miami called How Can I Be Down? Every single amazing artist from all over America and the world go down there and you're just walking down South Beach and you, mm-hmm. you know there'll be like Mariah Carey and yeah. Jermaine uh, Dupree and Teddy Riley and everybody was just there and I saw this young guy walking along and um, I kind of recognised him because I've been working on his record in in um, in the city. But you were singing, he, you? I was singing, singing along to SWV, <laughs> Use yeah. Your Heart and um, he tapped me on my shoulder and said I wrote this song and I said <laughs> Whatever. And that's for our Williams. Are, are you still <laughs> keeping in touch with them? I mean, uh, up Pharrell until, up until recent years, we yeah. were at the Radio One um, show in London at Hyde Park oh a few God, years ago. He took us backstage and we watched from the side of the stage and he gave us a, a wave <laughs> and we hung with him and Carmen Electra and various other people. I didn't so. even know Carmen Electra was, <laughs> but, I was, but I was kissing and cuddling her <laughs> and I didn't know who she was at all. And Paris Hilton, bless her. Yeah, and <laughs> Terry Callier, who sadly passed away. Yeah, but do you remember so when Ka- when Carmen Electra fell over? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he sort of saved her from yeah. falling. She fell over in the back <laughs> in the uh, in the catering tent Incredible. on her wedgie shoes. Bless her. Awesome. Yeah, that was only in the recentish years before coming to Spain. But he's a yeah. family man now. You know, he's settled down. He's married, so he's kind of chilling in Miami yeah. doing his, his thing. Yeah. Cool. So, Roxy, um, I heard the new single is doing very well on radio around the world. I, I would say I would say surprisingly. I, I mean, are you happy so far? It's yeah. blowing up. <laughs> I am. I mean, I you know I work I work incredibly hard on on the radio promotion because I you know obviously I believe that's the way to get to the people. Yeah. I always say that you can do you know never ending shows to 50 people or 100 people, but it's better that I have 300 million people hearing the record because then we can then go away and do shows in those territories. And after being out of the out of it for six years. You become, you know, I was thinking, mm, maybe this is going to bomb. It's not going to happen at all. You know, no one might play it. But then, within the space of about 14 days, it's pretty. It's in a lot of countries of the world now. 
Yeah, huge a lot. amount of people playing. I, I heard that it's on the radio in Brazil, Brazil. Yeah. Hey, oh. United States, Asia, States, Asia, Asia. I mean, yeah. uh, Prague, world, Amsterdam. Yeah, it's all over. It's pretty much the majority of the world now. Yeah. It's like a, eight, it's a lot of country, a lot. How did you get on radio? How, how, was, how was the previous war to, it's to get on the radio? It's hard work, work, especially when you're doing it independently on your own, isn't it? I pretty much do everything, so... Yeah. He's like you know. a one-man band. I feel yeah. like I'm lazy sometimes. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> I, I just basically work 14 hours. I work up to 14 hours a day and I just, you know, bring uh, more content. As long as the music, you know, has a, has a certain standard, I yeah. think people will, people will yeah. listen. I think if the music is great, then people are going to play. That's why I wasn't sure about this one, but ironically, if people are jumping on it like every, from everywhere, like this is, they say it sounds like Prince, and I'm like, mm, okay, that's great. That's, I can't get a, you know, a better compliment.